We recently found this really interesting handcrafted wood canister at the thrift store and decided to give it a bit of a makeover just in time for the summer. Hi there, I'm Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit and welcome back to our channel. It's another episode of Thrifted Thursday where we're giving a thrift store find a fun makeover. After cleaning off this piece that I found at the Valley Village, I gave it a coat of this nice soft white chalky finish paint by DecoArt called Whisper. And this color just gives a nice base coat upon which we're going to do the rest of the crafting, including decoupaging a napkin and a photo image transfer with Mod Podge. So this find was really unique. Still to this day, I've had it now for a few months. I'm not quite sure what it was or is. It's in the shape of an elongated like wine barrel, but uh, I don't know. Do you have any ideas of what we could use this for? What you think somebody would have used it for? When I started the makeover, I wasn't exactly sure which way it was going to go. So as you can see at first, I just painted the bottom half of the canister, but then I decided that we're going to actually apply the lemon napkin that I had to both the top and the bottom. So here I am just quickly now adding that base coat of the chalky paint to the entire surface. After that dried, I applied a nice thin even coat of this DecoArt decoupage glue to starting first the top half of the canister. And then once that was applied, I let that dry because I planned to use the iron-on method to put on the napkin. I couldn't exactly remember where I ordered these napkins from, but I did find the link on Amazon and I've put that in the description below in case you like this pattern. It's really fun for this decoupage project, but also just to have for napkins for picnics in the summer. So I placed a piece of parchment paper over top and then used my little iron to press that napkin into that decoupage glue that we had put on there before. After sanding off the excess pieces of the napkin from the sides with a bit of sandpaper, I repeated the decoupaging process to the bottom part of the canister. I left the sides uncovered and as you'll see in a bit we are going to do a green crackle paint finish for the caps on the end. The part around the legs was a little tricky but I just kind of cut some slits from the tissue and then managed to make it fit around the little feet and then just kept going until the entire rounded surface was covered. Next it was time to cut out my design for the image transfer. This design is available over at sustainmycrafthabit.com and it says easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I printed it in reverse on my inkjet printer at home and now I'm simply going to um, transfer that using some Mod Podge onto the front of the piece. If I had planned things out a little better, I would have left this area unpainted. Since I didn't, I just had to go back and trace over where the image transfer was going to be and then painted that with that light chalky paint just so that the image would show up really nice once the transfer was completed. Finally, I put a generous coat of Mod Podge over the surface, the printed surface. So you want this on the printed side of the paper, spread that around and then positioned it onto that space that we made for it on the canister. The important thing here is to let it dry really well and I actually let it dry overnight. So here we are the next day continuing this craft. It took me a little longer than I thought it would. And we wanted to, as we said, do a crackle finish along the sides. So I mixed up this color of green to match the tone of the foliage and greenery in the napkin design. Now I'm using here some Elmer's glue, Elmer's cool glue, and I'm just realizing that there are like three different types of glues in this craft. But um, once we put on that school glue, I don't even let it dry. I used to let it dry for a few seconds, but now I've decided the crackle goes on much better if you apply your top coat right over the wet glue. And that's what I'm doing here with just a soft brush. And you don't want to overwork that because it starts to dry pretty quickly. But I also use my heat tool to help this process along. And then that really makes the crackles form so, so nicely. 
I'm just repeating that process with the other side of the canister as well. And then as you'll see, I also use the same technique for both of the feet. And it just created this really nice contrast uh, with the printed napkin and then the solid pieces. And then we have our little label or the sign on the front, which we're going to be revealing next. So now it's the moment of truth. I still get nervous about whether this image transfer is going to work, but I basically covered that piece of paper with water. It was just a wet paper towel. And when that paper was really wet, I scrubbed off that top layer of the paper, revealing the transferred ink underneath. Sometimes it helps to actually dry the paper and then you can see if there's any more left over that needs to be scrubbed off and then repeat this process a little bit. But I just love how this looks. This is easy peasy and lemon squeezy. I actually took a fine brush and went around that circle one more time just to clean it up. And then finally I sealed the whole thing inside and out with this DuraClear satin varnish. I just love how this unique piece turned out with the decoupage, Mod Podge image transfer, and a little crackle paint. I think it makes a great catch-all for some jewelry or even as a sewing kit. I don't know, I'll be looking out for more unique finds like this at the thrift store to make over. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more upcycling ideas. Happy crafting!